Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys probably read by the title, this is a one brand tutorial on NYX products. I've never done one of these videos on my channel and I thought it would be the perfect kind of video now that the holidays are over with. Well, actually not almost because New Year's Eve is coming up. Um, but I thought this would honestly would be a great video to record because, you know, some people have more products of um, certain lines than others. For instance, me, I didn't have to go out and buy any new products of NYX. I had them all in my makeup kit or my client kit, so it was like a plus for me. Um, so this is the look that I created with the all NYX products. Only I mentioned a few products that um, weren't by NYX, which was the eyelashes. What else was it? Mascara and I think primer. But that's pretty much it for the most part. Everything else, the whole look mainly was... Next products. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look right here, then just feel free and keep on watching. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a one brand tutorial using only NYX products. The only products that I'm not using NYX is um, the eyelashes, my primer, and I'll just go ahead and mention the things that are not by NYX. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Um, so to start off, I'm going to first go in by prepping my skin. I'm going to go ahead and just give my face a little moisture with the MAC Fix Plus. I finally got my hand on this product again because I didn't have that for a while. Um, but my grandma went to MAC, so she asked if we needed anything, so she went ahead and she picked this up for me. And then the next product that is not by NYX um, is this Nature by Nature Flash Matte Perfecting Primer. It looks like this. Um, I have been really loving this product, and this is the kind of primer that I've been using. Um, to use for my like my daily makeup routine. It's what I've been using literally like every single time I do my makeup. Um, so for foundation, I have the, I already had some of these products. I had most of the products I should say. And also the brushes are not gonna be by NYX. Um, so this is the NYX Professional Makeup Total Control Total Drop Foundation. And they look like this. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them. They look like that. And this is in the shade Natural. And I have the shade, I'm not sure what this shade is called. It doesn't have one, but it's a little bit darker. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to mix those two just because one of them is too light and then the other is too dark. So while my foundation and I'm sorry, while my primer is, you know, kind of soaking into my skin, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a couple drops of both of them just mix together just to get the right shade of mine. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this Morphe M439 brush. I just realized I don't have my mirror right here. So I'm not sure if it's this foundation, but this foundation has a really weird smell to it. I'm not sure if it's the foundation or what it is so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue applying my foundation i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender just to kind of blend it more in but it's not full full coverage but you know it'll do it'll do for concealer i'm pretty sure you guys have heard of these as well these are the nyx hd concealer the photogenic one they look like this i have three shades here um I have like a light medium and a dark, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the lightest one, which is in the shade medium. Yeah, I'm going to take medium. And these have a really bad smell too, I'm not sure, because I haven't used them like in a while. So, I'm just going to, I don't even know if that's going to be light enough. Okay, that's like pink, that's like a salmon color. Okay, so that's going to be a no. I'm actually going to go in with this NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Little Palette. Looks like this. It's cream contour. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this yellow shade right here to contour my face. So I'm going to take I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Small Stippling Brush. It looks like this. And I'm just going to apply some of that because... That salmon color wasn't doing it for me. So first I'm just going to go in with this amount of concealer. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with my beauty blender. So as I said, this concealer is really... I feel like it's really heavy compared to what I normally use. Which is the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, 
the Tarte Shape Tape is a, it's a more heavier consistency or thicker consistency, but it doesn't feel so cakey and so heavy on the skin. And this one does, which I don't really like. Um, but I guess we have to work with what we have, right? I'm going to go ahead and take a more kind of smaller detailing brush just to get a little bit more of this product. I hope I have work tomorrow and I hope my face does not break out because I haven't used these products in a long time. So, and then again, just going to blend out my concealer just to give me a more brightened under eye and a more concealed under eye. I want to make sure I blend this out really, really good before I set because I do not want any creases. Okay, and now to set my under, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I'm pretty sure you guys knew I was going to use this because this was like my holy grail. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe E8 brush. I guess it doesn't really matter what brushes I use because they're not NYX, so I'll just go ahead and leave that out. I'm going to put my mirror a little closer to me. Just because I am a blind. So, so far I'm kind of just going up into the camera a little bit more. And into the mirror just a little bit more. Um, It is actually setting really nicely. Does it look... Actually, I can... Oops. I can start to see a little bit of kind of like dry patches. Um, But that may just be my skin or whatever. And now for... My contour, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go in with the shade Nutmeg, which is like the darkest out of the concealers that I have. I've, in, I've been into the the kind of cream contours lately. Oh, I just got some on my hair. So I'm going to take a stippling brush. So that one was really pigmented, as you guys can see. So, that one was really, really pigmented. So I... And these, um, these concealers don't really feel so heavy on the skin, um, not compared to the that little this little palette right here. Um, so as you can see, that, that's how it blended out. So I, don't, I feel like I only applied a little bit, and that blended out a lot. So as you can see, that actually blended out really, really nicely. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender, and then again, when I take my contour too far down... I kind of just take my beauty blender and then go around, kind of just tap it over everything. So you can't really tell in the in the camera, but it actually gave me like a really good all over bronze, and it's actually really really pigmented, um, to the point where I probably don't even need to go in with powder. But I always have to set my pop my concealer my cream. Excuse me. Okay, so I'm scared to actually use this product because the last time that I had used it, it was a big disaster. But it's the Highlight Control Pro Palette. And I'm going to take, since I want to start off, like, honestly, with the lightest shade. So I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm going to take just an angled brush. Just going to lightly tap it first. And then I'm just going to tap that onto the cheek. I'm not going to do swiping motions yet because I think that's what kind of messed me up last time was the swiping. So I'm just going to go ahead and just dab the first time that I had or not the first time but recently when I've been using when I used this palette to set my contour it was honestly the it was it was something else it was crazy so I don't have a highlight from NYX so I think I'm just going to take one of the palettes that I have here and use that to highlight with um I'm going to take this NYX Love in Paris murky I don't even know how to say that, but it's right here, this one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take... Ooh, these are pretty, actually. I'm going to go ahead and take this one up here and see how that applies as a highlight. Ooh, it's really powdery. Let's see, let's see. Ooh. Okay, NYX. That was actually really... That's actually a really pretty... And then what I like to do, too, is... Just apply some to the tip of my nose. And lately I've been applying it kind of to the apples of my cheeks. So that way like I don't have to like turn to the side only. Like for 
people to see my highlight. That's why I can look straight at you guys and you guys are still able to see my highlight. And then I'm going to take that brush that I used to apply the cream concealer. And then I'm just going to kind of buff out. Okay, we're not going to use that brush. I'm just going to take my beauty blender just to blend out the creases. And now for eyebrows. I'm actually scared because um, I have used this product and I didn't like it. Um, but since this is a NYX tutorial, it's the NYX Eye brow gel and this one i liked it it's really really pigmented but it dries super super fast and it dries super hard and it's not letting me even get some out oh my god i feel like it's gonna pop in my face oh god i literally think that this is gonna like explode in my face right now it's like not coming out oh yeah it is it looks like a little turd and then I'm going to take this, just any angled kind of brow pencil. And I'm going to, oh, this is in the shade Espresso. I don't normally get this one, but I'm not sure where my other one is at. So, but this one would do. I just, I did go lighter on my hair. So I'm just, I'm just not going to apply as much product. So I'm pretty much going to just draw in my brows. And you guys already know how this part goes i'll go ahead and i uploaded a new kind of updated brow routine so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out i'll go ahead and just leave that in the description down below okay so i went ahead and did my brows and i concealed them with the rest of the foundation that i had and i have to say i'm not sure if it's because i had applied the foundation in the beginning over my eyebrows but this product actually went on a lot smoother than normal um it like just glided on normally it gives me like a rough time and it kind of like starts patching up and it starts getting crumbly um but it's actually giving me a good time so maybe it's easier if you put foundation over your brows first and then you go in with this product um so since i have all like the powders and stuff done i'm gonna go ahead and just spray my face one more time with the nick nyx with the mac fix plus i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take a blending brush and i'm gonna take the NYX Love in Paris Madelines and Macaroons palette. This one right here. And then I'm going to go in with the shade number two, I'm guessing. I'm not sure how you're supposed to look at this palette. Oh, I just put my nail into that. Actually, I'm going to go into this one first. It's like a baby, baby pink. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this one first. What is that? Oh, we it. Let's see if these are pigmented. I haven't actually used these. Eh. There's a little bit of pigment. I'm not sure actually if it's because this brush already had pink on it. But I'm getting pigment out, girlfriend. Ooh. Maybe it was that. I don't know. Because I did have pink previously on this brush. So with that same brush, I'm just going to go in with the color that is next to it. Which is this one in the middle. I'm not sure. It's not looking so pink on the camera, but... It's like a dusty kind of rose pink color. So, I'm not sure. It's kind of like a mauve pink. So, I'm not sure if you can see that. I wanted to do like a burgundy kind of look, but the only burgundy that I have in here, it's um, like shimmer, and I don't like putting shimmer like in my crease because that just. I'm going to go in with a more tapered brush, and then I'm going to go into the Mercy palette. I'm not sure how to say that. And then I'm going to go in with this one right here. It's like a matte kind of brown chocolate color. And then I'm just going to apply this. First, I'm just going to kind of dab it onto the outer V. So this one is pigmented. I'm not sure if you can see that right there. It's not really, really pigmented, but you know. It'll get the job done, and then I'm just going to start to lightly just blend that into the crease. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush, and then from that same palette, I'm going to take this kind of maroon, kind of burgundy color right here. And then I'm just going to pack this shade onto the outer kind of V of my eye. Again, I'm not sure. So this is having a little bit of fallout. I'm not sure if you can see right here that shade was falling onto my base so this this one is really really sheer let's see what happens if i spray my brush with fix plus let's see 
And then I'm gonna grab some. So that actually did help a little bit. You guys can see it right there. Dang, I feel like I haven't wet my brush with shimmer shades in forever. So yeah, you guys can see that helped a lot. Again, gonna wet my brush and then do the same with this eye. And yes, we're gonna go back in and blend it out, but... So yeah, oh yeah, you can see that big time. So spraying it with Fix Plus did help it a lot, actually. And I'm just gonna wipe off my brush. And then I'm just gonna lightly blend that into the crease. I'm gonna actually wipe off all the fallout that I have right here. And I think I'm gonna go in with like a gold shade for the inner part or like a champagne kind of color. I actually look at highlight that I used. So I think I'm gonna go in with that highlight that I used, which was this shade right here. From the same palette i'm gonna take that on a flat shader brush i'm gonna spray my pump brush with fix plus i'm not sure if you consider this cheating but you guys seen how it applied without fix plus for my highlight so let's go ahead and do that. whoa okay so that applied um pretty pigmented Oh, wow. And I'm just going to go back in with that brush that we used to apply that kind of maroon kind of shimmer shade just to blend everything out and blend the edges out. Okay. And then now, I didn't actually use these palettes, so that can go away. And I'm actually going to take just that burgundy shade, and then I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line. So these pigments did have a lot of fallout and you guys you guys are not able to tell on camera maybe right here like a little bit you can see like it's a little bit more pink so i'm just gonna go ahead and just wipe that off because i don't like how that is looking and now for mascara i don't have a nyx mascara actually so i'm gonna just go ahead and take this bare minerals mascara and just give it a quick coat for lashes these are not by NYX because as I said I didn't have NYX lashes so these are the Makeup Shack lashes in I believe the styled dragon eye so when I have I finished the eyes I did my lashes off of camera um so I do have to say um these two little palette palettes these two palettes were a yes for me. Um, obviously, you can't compare NYX to like a higher end brand on the pigmentation. Um, but they actually, I feel like they were really um, pigmented for them being, you know, NYX brand. Um, the other thing I have to say is like the shimmer shade, they did have a lot of fallout, fallout. So like in this area right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see, it looks a little bit more shiny and dewy than I would normally, um, you know, would want. But overall, the foundation is looking good. The act the shadows did blend out really really easily. Um, so these are a yes for me. And now for lips, I'm gonna go ahead and take. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with this one. This is in the shade Edge Pink. Stop changing the colors. Okay. So now for liquid lipstick, I'm gonna take this NYX lingerie lip. Stick in satin ribbon. It looks like this. I just wanted to do a darker kind of lip line uh, li liner just to give it like a nice effect. So, and now to top that off, I'm gonna take this next butter gloss in the shade Madeline just to give me a little bit more of a gloss and not so much matte. And just add a little bit more color because I feel like this top one was a little bit. It was looking a little bit purple and now to finish everything off i'm gonna go ahead and take my mac fix plus i always get scared when i do this i don't know why 
So overall, this entire video was a one brand tutorial on NYX products. Um, and I have to say, I'm actually really, really surprised on how this look turned out because I've tried this foundation and I didn't like it in the beginning. But looking at myself in the mirror, it is a little bit just too dark for me. I'm not sure if you guys can see compared to my chest to my face. It is just a little bit too dark, so maybe if I were just to use a light um, foundation, it would be a little bit more better. Um, but I really like how it looks. I like how it gives me of a matte finish just under here, the concealer. I think it was a cream, honestly. It gave me kind of a dewy finish, and I and I'm, I prefer a matte under eye. So I think that's the only downside about this whole video. Um, the eyeshadow, I think it turned out really, really stunning. I like the champagne color, and I like the pinky kind of tones. Um, the brow product was what I was really surprised about because before, like I said, I had been using, I think in one of my, in some of my previous videos, I had been using that product and I did not like it because it gets hard really fast. And honestly, right now, now that I'm touching my, my brows, they do not feel hard at all. It, it was to the point where I would like move my, my eyebrows and I would feel it hard. Um, but I didn't do that in this video. Maybe it was because I put the foundation before the gel. So maybe I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to you know keep you guys updated to see how that ends up turning out um but yeah that pretty much all i actually really really love how this tutorial came out and i love the look i'm really actually surprised with the highlight and that was just a shadow so i think it came out really really nice so that's pretty much it for this entire video if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and that's pretty much all i have to say and i will see you guys on the next one